in it. Let's try, let's try, I'm gonna teach you how to make a sound emitting source and then the volume will change as you can This seems like um will call for afternoon, but you'd be you'd be surprised. Um the game that I played recently that, that, that they use a lot in is is the game Portal. Good. So I'm gonna make this um sort of based on that. Oh I love that. So now game. let's get started. First pretty sprite. I'm gonna call this one SPR radio. Right. I, I found this online. If you really want to use this, I'll just link in the description. And let's go to second sprite. And it's called a fair player. And give it a, a simple black circle. Alright, now we add sound. Video. Again, I found this online. This is the song we're using in Portal 1. Make sure that it's a WAV file, not an MP3. This because this won't work in MP3 for whatever reason. If you have an MP3, then you can download a program called the Audacity for free and you can work with the WAV file with that. So let's create objects. So let's create a player. We just want the code that like move forward directions. And I'll just put it here in three, two, one. And there you have it. That's all for the player. Now let's create a radio. Call OBJ radio. Sprite. And in creation, we want to start playing the sound that comes from the radio. So let's just say sound loop. And we'll put the index of the sound that we made in. We call that CD radio sound. As well. You can also put it down as sound play, but I'm going to put down sound loop so that it'll play over and over again. I don't need to worry about making it play. So, also add three variables. First, we need volume because we want the volume to change depending on how close the player is. And we'll just start with the zero, it doesn't really matter where it's about that. And then, next two variables are called dist max and dist min. So, this is the maximum distance at which the player can hear the sound. I'm going to make it 256. And this is the minimum distance, or, or the distance at which the, pl the player can hear it at full volume. The furthest distance at which, furthest distance at which the player can hear it at full volume. So I'm going to make it like 64. Alright. Now let's go to the segment. And then I found the sound volume. Make the index of sound to use in the first function, so S and radio again. And the volume, we're going to make the variable volume. So now, let's calculate the variable. Now I'm going to type down the code and then explain it afterwards. So if you look at this, if the um, this is OBJ player is the same as the maximum distance which you can hear it, then this equation will equal 1. So you want to do 1 minus that because 1 would be the maximum value, 1 would be max value, max volume, and 0 is minimum value, volume. So when you're at the maximum distance which you can hear the volume, we want to equal 0. So 1 minus that. So this says minimum distance, then take this equation will equal 0, so 1 minus 0 will make it equal to 1. This way it will be louder when you're closer and softer when you're closer. Just as a little bit of housekeeping I guess, cut down, if volume is more than 1, volume equals 1, and type down if volume is less than 0, volume is 0. This part isn't really necessary, it just makes you feel better, so that, that way you won't have volumes of 500 or something like that. It doesn't get any, any louder after you go past 1, but it's just 
sort of nice to keep the, the, the value between 0 and 1. Alright, so I simply create the room. Just put the radio in the center of it, that would cancel out nicely. And what we do play? There we go. Now it's set. So I can get it very softly now. And now that I'm going to move closer, I can turn the line on my trigger's going to be expensive loud, so there we there you have it, and then when I get farther, dim it down, closer, louder, and so on and so on. So, now I can take this tutorial. That's all for this tutorial, I hope, hope this helps. This trick is one that makes it, it significantly increase the quality of the game, it makes it seem far more realistic. So, this one's finished. I can take it off of this right now. See, you got it working. These um, are all the tutorials that I'm going to be making. Given you other suggested tutorials, you know, please, please, by all means, suggest it. I'm happy to make them. Um, so, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.